Good evening, people. Hope you guys are keeping well. Uh, today, the video is about awareness and scammers. Okay. Uh, this is a Samsung S22 Ultra, 128GB. It was listed on Gumtree and Facebook. I've also listed it on uh, uh, eBay. I have a very dead, legit looking bloke turns up at my door. Come in, had a look at the handset. He's happy with it, but there was a little rush of, you know, not checking the handset thoroughly, although I'm insisting it's a brand new handset. You need to check the handset. Okay, check it thoroughly. It does carry two years manufacturer warranty because it's brand new and I have proof of purchase, which I will pass it on to yourself in, on, on completion of the transaction. But there was a little bit of a uh, rush. So I kind of became a little bit aware of, of I'm going to say, you know, somebody's here. I'm asking them to go through the setting, testing the phone, making sure that the phone is right. OK, Every, they're happy because it is sold as seen. You know, yes, it's backed with manufacturer's warranty. But if there's any issues, they'll have to take you back to Samsung store to try and deal with it. So that's why I was covering my own back. Then it came about the payment. So I give him the bank details. He then sort of processes the payments and then confirms and shows me that the payment's gone through. Listen to this. So I wait around for a couple of minutes. I said, we'll have to wait till the phone comes through. If you just bear with me for a few minutes, mate. But maybe about a minute has gone into the conversation. Right? He's saying, oh, look, there's a reference number. Here's the reference number. OK, and it does say paid to myself. So the amount and a reference number. OK. So I said, I'm sorry, but you're just going to have to wait a couple of more minutes. Let's just see if it comes through. Then he rings up. He rings up to his bank. This is where it gets really interesting. He ring up, rings up his bank. I think it was nationwide. It seemed that the bank has actually picked up the phone within a matter of minutes. As we all know, we live in the UK. You know, when you're calling up a utility company or a bank, you could be on the phone for hours up to hours okay you might be lucky that somebody will pick up the phone but you still be there for five ten minutes we know that it's peak hour it was round about afternoon so it's peak hour right they're going to be busy but his phone gets picked up straight away so i thought all right cool maybe it's just a uh, he's got a priority banking so somebody's there uh dealing with it you know there to handle the call i meant to say phones up says Oh, I've made a bank and it's dead legit, all legit. Remember this guy, they're all legit. It looks all legit. It's all a scam, right? It's all legit, but a scam. OK, they've got a call sent. Somebody's handling the call. So you pick it up. It says such a such a bank and then it goes into a ringtone. Then somebody picks up the phone and it's, a it's ha all happening in minutes. You know, within say, less than 30 seconds, everything's happening. OK, and I'm very surprised. I've lived here all my life and I've dealt with banks and I've dealt with uh, corporations before, you know, many corporations, you know, and, and you could be there for hours and end. OK. So. The, the, the bank man, the so-called bank man from Nationwide, I believe it was. Says, oh, yeah, yeah, the payment has gone through. It can take up to a couple of hours for the funds to clear. Right. So I said, OK, fine. So, so then he puts the phone down. OK, so he talk, talks to me and says, well, you know, I said, well, I'm sorry, mate, you can't leave. You can't have the answer until the funds have cleared. I understand that. You know, then he goes, shows me all these references. Said, I appreciate that. But he can't leave without the ha funds have been cleared into my bank account. So I said to him, right, OK, why don't you cancel the transaction, phone up the bank and cancel the transaction and I'll take you to a cash point and get the cash withdrawn. OK, so he rings up the bank again. Same scenario. Within 30 seconds, somebody's picking up the phone and answering. And then the banker says, oh, well, you can cancel the transaction, but it may take up to a, a uh, you know, it'll, it'll be a little bit difficult to do that. But it can be done. We can we can recall the payment and things like that, blah, blah. Well, my understanding is that once the fund is cleared, the bank can't recall. the. It's, it's just as good as a cash payment. I might be wrong, but that's my understanding. OK, but the fund hasn't cleared into my bank account. So where do you go from there? So I said to him, I'm sorry, you're going to have to call back once the funds clear. You, you know where I live. You can come back and here's the copy of the receipt. You can have the copy of the receipt. So I gave him the copy of the receipt with a little note saying that uh, bank transfers done pending payment. As soon as it clears, customers welcome to collect the handset and signed it off. That's as much as I can do as a human. 
okay but these bastards out there just scamming and sorry for my language but scamming people making it look like all legit with all these so-called bankers that that might be one of his mate in in in, in his house with with a, with a laptop or a pc and this ringtone it's all pre-set up it's a it's a very well scripted scam that's what i'm trying to say so be very aware if you're listing stuff on gumtree facebook and even on ebay if anybody comes and you offer a, a bank transfer on collection, make sure that the funds are fully cleared in your bank account. You do not part from your stuff until the funds are fully cleared. Otherwise, go and get cash. And if they're not prepared to do that, hell with them. Okay, get going. So luckily, this handset retailed at £1,149. Okay. He could have he could have had me over and and because of my awareness i've managed to safeguard myself and i've not lost this answer but for other people they're not aware and this video is to make this awareness there's a lot of scammers out there be careful and that's all i can say luckily for me 1150 pound remains in my pocket this could have been worse situation. This could have been where, uh, uh, you know, somebody else would have parted. And these scammers are well scripted. These, 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 the whole thing is well scripted. So be careful. Anyway, guys, all the best. Stay well, stay safe. And hope you find this video useful. Um, and uh, as I said, just be careful who you're dealing with. All right. Take care. Peace.